There's a renewed push to get more women on the beat with Victoria Police. As it stands, around 70% of the force is made up of men and there's hope a more modern, flexible approach can lure more female recruits. Ilsa Wakeling is an inspector at Victoria Police, an Australian softballer, and her proudest achievement, mum of one. It is a balance. Um, we do get that mum um, insecurity of putting a child into before and after care. Graduating in 2006, Inspector Wakeling became one of just five women alongside 200 men to work at the critical incident response team. I loved chasing crooks. I loved, <laughs> I loved um, the adrenaline rush. Um, and I loved working in that team environment where everyone would come together to get that desired result. She trained as a police negotiator heard here in a cordon and call. And after 10 years, her career was put on hold to have a family. Returning five months later, her first day back and nine hour siege. On my return to the office, it dawned on me then that um, you know I had been in a nine hour incident. I've got a five month old at home and had a male point a firearm at me. And it probably gave me that understanding that what is my next stage in my career and where am I moving and progressing to? There are challenges and particularly when you're trying to manage obviously a home and also a work career, you know, we're really flexible in terms of the hours that they work, the days that they work. Um, some of them can work remotely. Women make up 30% of Victoria's police force. Of the 179 recruits last year, 52 were women, with Vic Pol now offering more flexibility for those wanting to join. They bring a really unique set of skills, um, empathy, um, and what we want is our police force that reflects the diversity in the community. There's no area that women can't work in. We can have many careers within the same career within Victoria Police. Like Inspector Wakeling, you can climb the ranks, dominate sport, have a family, and be a role model, all while breaking down gender barriers. Tegan Dolling, 7 News.